it's messing around. Right. It wasn't really a song. I'm just gonna mess with it. Ooh, okay. Before I start playing it, that's pretty. This is a this is a very very good looking guitar. There's a the contrast in the black and the and the the blondish white. That's that's pretty. What it what is that that what is this in the what what kind of it's, wood it's or Baltic birch? Okay. It's been dyed. Um, it's really difficult to explain. I'll okay. show you a piece of it. Okay. Here. All right. Um, it, it's a turning blank, is what I it started out as. Wow, the back too, man. That that's this is art right here. This is art. Like that's that's not just the guitar. This is like you could have this like spinning on the wall so you can see the front and back if you had it hanging in from like a thing that would be cool <laughs> this is so nice looking uh so you can t this feels a lot different than that one i guess i didn't notice the, i didn't check the size of it what is this model right here that i'm holding now that's the orchestra okay i mean i'm a big guy it does feel more compact uh but i, I definitely a different tone and not in like a bad or good way, it's just a different tone. I, I like them both. Man, the detailing on this, everything is so cool on there. I, this is a cool looking guitar. I feel like I should be playing like cool music or something, but the uh, good pieces of stuff on here, I, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big guitar nerd, so like I look at everything and, man, that's cool. It almost looks like, Pretty guitar. All right, so let's see here. Look at that one. That's the black and white. Yeah, I love this one. Look at the artwork on this one too. And the rosette. I love the inlay that you did. And what I really like about this one too is the headstock. It's just, that's just class right on there. So uh, I'm very happy to be here you know, for Rest Guitars and, and meeting everybody. But this is, this is just. Very full for a small guitar, very full, very balanced, very bright, which is very nice. Um, oh my, I didn't even see that. If you guys can see that part. This is just, this is a work of art. The back. That's beautiful. This is beautiful. sings that's really nice that's really nice don't look because I'm gonna just put it under my shirt and walk away <laughs> no, that's beautiful really nice Thanks. definitely this is less uh, you know like I said that this one is not boomy but it's way fuller this has a more uh, it's not compressed but like it's uh, the sound is uh, it's not as projecting as much, which is, I think would be really good for recording. You know, you don't have to cut out as much when you're recording with the guitar that doesn't have that full sound, but this is like great for, I would definitely like consider this one for like a live gig. And like if I had both of these guitars and I had to record some, I'd pull this one out because it's just, uh, it's got a good even, very, very even. Even sound.
two good sounding guitars. I, I, I'm really impressed. You know, I've been following online for uh, Robert's guitars and just kind of looking at all the stuff that he was doing. And then when the chance came to be actually be able to play the stuff that I've been looking at, this is uh, it's better than I even expected. And I was I, I just imagined they were going to be awesome just from everything I was watching him build and how, the time he took to build everything. Um, I was, I was thinking like, if you're going to spend that much time in detail, you know, you you, you got to be making sure you're sound, making something good. So uh, he did. He really, he really did. So. Uh, 